All right, what's going on, Hot Squad? Welcome back to my Hot Banger Recap Marathon and my last Hot Banger Recap of the week. So, Hot Squad, Watch Mojo last week, I believe, dropped their recap of Deadpool Wolverine and is their top 10 funniest moments. So, Deadpool Wolverine was hands down the funniest MCU movie ever. Actually, I actually think it's much more funnier than most of the Guards Galaxy movies combined, to be honest. But it's like. So many funny moments this movie had unexpectedly, but hey, it's freaking Deadpool. The last one, the last one was hilarious as hell. So Deadpool Wolverine was bound to be hilarious, and because of that, it made 1.3 billion dollars. I mean, holy crap! See what, see, see, see what happens, Marvel. We bring some something that fans want. Hey, look at that! Look at that! It's 1.3 billion dollars. I think it, I think it's 1.3. I'm not too sure it's close to 1.4, but hey. It made a freaking billion dollars. The highest gross in an R-rated film of all time. I mean, damn. Damn, damn, damn. We ain't had no superhero movie that had made a billion dollars since Endgame, to be honest. Since freaking Endgame. I really can't think of no movie that gotten that close to a billion dollar superhero movie last time since Endgame. And of course, No Way Home. I, I'm not gonna forget No Way Home, but I'm talking about like Disney MCU. Cause you know, Spider No Way Home is owned by Sony. So that all that money is going to Sony, even though it's part of MCU. But anywho, we're gonna check out Watch Mojo's Deadpool Wolverine Funniest Moments Top 10 right now to end this hot bag recap off. Let's check it out. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Uh, Welcome to the MCU, by the way. You're joining it a bit of a low point. <laughs> Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks <laughs> for the funniest moments from the third installment of the Deadpool franchise, Deadpool and Wolverine. There are spoilers, so be warned. Yep, spoiler alert, y'all. If you haven't seen it, that's on you. My feelings on abortion, religious freedom, animal rights, privacy rights, vaccines, free market capitalism, global climate change. <laughs> Number 10, Calling Out Fox. Okay, it's awesome. okay. Wade Wilson is brought to the TVA by Mr. Paradox under the premise that he's been chosen for a higher purpose that may or may not involve saving the sacred timeline. In fact, you've been chosen for a higher purpose, a purpose unclear even to me, but one that could save the entire sacred timeline from a possibly grisly fate sometime in the future. Mr. Paradox tells Wilson that he'll be leaving his own timeline and entering a new one. Of course Wilson is excited to join the MCU, but then, hilariously, he takes it too far and declares himself Marvel Jesus. <laughs> I smell what you're stepping in. <laughs> the power in the Marvel Universe is about to change forever. <laughs> I am the Messiah. I am Marvel Jesus. This moment is capped off by Wilson running up, grabbing the camera and mic to boldly tell Fox to suck it and that he's <laughs> going to Disneyland. Suck it, Fox. I'm going, going to Disneyland. Disneyland. It's an excellent party <laughs> gift to the former studio. Number nine, <laughs> Kevin Feige's one rule. It's Wade Wilson's birthday, and he comes home to find his friends have organized a surprise party for the occasion. Surprise! Hey, two guys are lucky I'm not armed. <laughs> Here's a brief montage of him engaging with various people, one of whom is his roommate, Blind Al. They have a bit of a contentious relationship, so it's always a pleasure to see their interactions. I've seen her in Fallout, by the way. The actress who played Bond now, Leslie Uggams, she's great at Fallout. She just straight up asks Wade if he wants to do some coke. Cocaine is the one thing that Ivy said is off limits. What about Bolivian marching belt? They know all the slang terms. They have a list. He quickly <laughs> mentions that that is the one thing that Kevin Feige, head of Marvel Studios, said is off limits. They go on to riff several euphemisms for the powdered substance, but it's no use. Hmm. They know all the slang terms. You want to build a snowman? Yes! Hmm. I can't. Number eight, Johnny Storm. Oh, yeah. Both Wolverine and Deadpool get sent to the void. They have a brief fight, but are soon joined by a mysterious figure that looks to be Cap. Dear God, it's him. <laughs> Who? No one. The <laughs> superhero equivalent to comfort food for Molly. White guy's answer to all the disappointments of another A-lister. Could it be that we're gonna get a Captain America cameo? Deadpool seems to think so. <laughs> Obviously, it would be a variant, but we'll take what we can get. The trio are approached by an antagonistic group of mutants. Cassandra is gonna be giddy when she sees what we caught. You can't run. Everybody knows that. You see anyone running, dick for brains? <laughs> You're not gonna love what happens next. Oh. Our... <laughs> So I was looking at my phone to see who somebody's calling me. Nobody ain't calling me. Presumed Cap is gonna take them on. But just when we think he's gonna say Avengers Assemble, we get Flame On. Yep. Oh my god, he's gonna say it. Ah. <laughs> oh my god, he's gonna say it! 
Say what? Avengers! Avengers! Sorry, what now? Wait, what? <laughs> that's right. Chris Evans also played Johnny Storm. Yep, of course. And that's who we get here. Yep. It is an excellent subversion, and it's made funnier that he is instantly defeated by yes, Power Yes, by Power Roll, I damn Number it. Number seven, Nice Pool's fourth wall break. <laughs> yep. Imagine a version of Deadpool that's sweet and kind. That would be Nice Pool. Deadpool and Wolverine first encounter him in the void when they come across his dog, <laughs> Mary Puppins. Look at you! She's coming with us! No, she's not. Oh, <laughs> yes. No. He's got the dashing good looks of a Ryan Reynolds type and is chipper beyond belief. When Deadpool and Wolverine return to Deadpool's universe, they are eventually joined by Mary Puppins, only to find Nicepool not far behind. <laughs> Come here, girl. Papa's here. Hey, do not insult this animal's autonomy. She could decide who her papa is. It's clear Deadpool wants to keep the dog, and refers to Nicepool as Van Milder. A funny <laughs> insult, to be sure, but Nicepool is quick to indicate that he too can tap the fourth wall. He turns directly to the camera and simply utters, Ah, oh, that's funny. Hmm. I can gently tap the fourth wall, too. The proposal. It is a brilliant, <laughs> unexpected non sequitur. <laughs> Number so, six. That was, that was actually funny as hell. That, that, that was funny as hell. Gambit. Deadpool yeah, and Gambit. Wolverine mm -hmm. find themselves in the hideout of resistance fighters. Where are we? No clue, but I like it here. <laughs> We are quickly introduced to forgotten Marvel heroes from yesteryear, such as Elektra, Blade, mm -hmm. and X-23. Perhaps the most surprising character reveal is that of Gambit. Yep. If you're trying to remember which X-Men movie this specific version appeared in, we'll save you the trouble. He yeah. doesn't. Who's this? <laughs> Succulent reminder of my own inadequacies. By the way, Taylor Kitsch played in Origins Wolverine, so yeah, he, he did a good job in that, even though I was not a big fan of the movie, to be honest. Look at you. You look like the superhero version of Hawkeye. <laughs> the name's Remy Labo. You do have blue. But you can call me the Gambit. A Gambit <laughs> film starring Channing Tatum was in the works, but was canceled. Yep. Tatum really shines here with his indecipherable <laughs> Cajun accent. Sure did. Adding to the hilarity are Deadpool's reactions because, like us, he also has no idea what the raging Cajun is saying. <laughs> you nasty, mon beauté rouge. Les élèves ont relé, hein? Not a <laughs> single word. What do you do, exactly? <laughs> Charles de playing cards. Make him go boom. <laughs> Number five, yes, Educated Wish. wish. <laughs> to get Logan to go along with his plan, Deadpool promises him that he can undo whatever bad thing Logan did in his universe once they're able to return to the TVA. Those, those bricks in the TVA, you heard him. They have the power to end my universe, but they also have the power to change yours. We get back there and we can fix your world together. While on their way to the borderlands of the Void to find a group of resistance fighters, Deadpool tries to bond with his co-star, but accidentally lets it slip that he doesn't actually know if Wolverine's world can be fixed. What did you say? I said when you get back, it's the first thing you're gonna do. I'm gonna before that. If they can fix your world. If. Oh, it's gotta be if. <laughs> what do you mean, if? Wolverine is furious, as one can imagine, at being lied to. But Deadpool goes for the Hail Mary of justifications by saying that he made an educated wish. You lied! No, I made an educated wish! <laughs> because I need you. Wolverine's reaction is just priceless. Yeah. And the two go on to have an over-the-top fight in their Honda Odyssey. Yep, so sure did. Number four, applying to the Avengers. Oh yeah, huge props to Hugh Jackman for he was going, I mean, I know he's played Wolverine, but he went off, off on Deadpool when, and um about, you know, his, his personality, man. man. He went off. Shout out to his freaking dramatic chops, man. Good Lord. Wade Wilson is searching for purpose to his <clears throat> life, and his search for that brought him to the Avengers. I, I care. I know I turn everything into a joke, but I, I care, and I, I want to use that feeling for something important. I, I want to matter. Hmm. Hoping to speak with Tony Stark, he's instead speaking to Happy Hogan, Mr. Stark's former chauffeur, as Wilson points out several times throughout their conversation. Entry-level meetings. Entry-level? Aren't you the chauffeur? I think maybe. <laughs> Common misconception. I okay. did begin my career as Mr. Stark's driver. Okay. Quickly pivoted to the head chauffeur. of security. The head of security, of course. Yes, 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 yes. Ultimately, it doesn't lead to Deadpool joining Earth's Mightiest Heroes, but it is filled with many jokes. Even when he's trying to be thoughtful and sincere, he can't help Smash but say something out of pocket, like mention how he likes to use those toy Hulk hands. It's 
That's an image we <laughs> could have done without, and probably didn't help his pitch to join the Avengers. <laughs> nope. But not everybody's the world saving type. I'm not, and I'm happy. Right? I found my place. You found, found your, your place. place. <laughs> Number three, Deadpool's new suit. Yeah. Before Deadpool can go off and save the MCU, he's gonna need to be dressed for the occasion. Adorn me, Beardo! Luckily, the TVA has the resources to adorn him with all the things he'll need, including weapons and a new suit. It's a crush. to a montage of Deadpool being fitted with his new dress by a bearded tailor where said tailor cups and slaps certain areas of our hero. It happens so much, there's a bit of a percussive beat formed from the sound effects of the various shots. Returning to Mr. Paradox after receiving his costume, he super casually mentions that the tailor is a predator. FYI, yes. your tailor is a predator. The way yes. he delivers the line just has us cracking up. Number two, post credit scene. Yeah. Once Deadpool, Wolverine, and Johnny Storm are captured, they're taken to Cassandra Nova, a twisted ruler in the void. A Wolverine! I wondered when I'd get one of you. You're one of Xavier's. You, you know him? You know Chuck? Oh, I knew him. We shared a womb. She's a tremendously powerful figure that you definitely do not want to cross. Of course, Deadpool takes the opportunity during this initial meeting to repeat, word for word, Storm's description of her during their ride to the compound. And it's not nice, to say the least. You said all that about me. No. No! I, don't, I didn't say any of it's that! It's in stones, Johnny! <laughs> I'll let her intimidate you. Storm denies he would say such vile things, hmm. and it definitely sounds like something Deadpool would make up on the spot as a bit. Cut to the post-credits where, yes, he did say yep, those things, did. and more. Hmm. I'll tell you what she can do. I'm listening. She can lick my goddamn cinnamon Same ring clean and kick rocks all the way to bald oh, hell. We gotta say, <laughs> Johnny sold his bemusement well. Yep. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Nice Pool's oh, yeah. regeneration. <laughs> yeah. We had heard about the Deadpool core from Nice Pool, and now we get the payoff. I take it they're not friendly. Goodness, no. Sorry about this, boys. Mission over. Cause of death, 100 kill thirsty Deadpools. <laughs> they're dumb, but they can fight. There are an assortment of variants and cameos that are all very interesting, but they're only interested in one thing, which is to kill our heroes. Ladypool kicks things off with her Uzis, and Deadpool quickly uses Nicepool as a shield as they head for cover. Having been hit with a bunch of bullets, Deadpool inquires how long it takes him to regenerate. Listen to me, gorgeous. How long does it take for you to regenerate? Regenerate? With the <laughs> sweetest, most sincere look on his face, Nicepool is bewildered by the concept. Ryan Reynolds nails the tone of this moment perfectly. Yeah. We never would have guessed there would be a version of Deadpool without that power, but here we are. How was <laughs> I supposed to know he doesn't regenerate? I'm not a medicine woman. All right, that was a pretty great list, pretty great list. I'm gonna live. <laughs> I was like, dang, his head's popped off my god dang. That was so brutal. I was like, oh man, that is crazy, man. But overall, yeah, Deadpool Wolverine was hands down the funniest MC movie ever. Actually, it actually is the, the funniest MC movie ever. And to me, honestly, it was it's Marvel's MCU's best since Endgame. To be honest, the best Marvel since Endgame, MCU wise. So overall, yeah, man. I had a really freaking great blast with Deadpool Wolverine and great list watch mojo, even though I don't have a list because overall I freaking love the movie regardless. So Squad, that is my conclusion of my Hot Banger recap reaction to watch Mojo's Deadpool Wolverine recap. So if you enjoyed this, please hit that button, read me a lot to me, comment share your thoughts. What is your favorite movie scene of Deadpool Wolverine? What's your funniest? What you think? And um overall, yeah, man. That had a huge blast, huge freaking blast. So Squad, I'm gonna call it quits for today. Because I have more hot bangers coming up tomorrow, but I'm tired. Got from work. So, Hot Squad, this is your man's Horse Hot sign out for today. I will see y'all tomorrow for more of my last hot bangers. Safe out the sky. Peace out. Have a great day. Hot Squad forever. Mm -hmm.